morning I'm back with another gear video and this video is gonna pretty much focus on the stuff that I don't carry I used to carry a lot of this stuff at one point but then I just figured it's not worth it so I took it out but first things first before I get into the stuff that I don't carry I'm gonna go over a few items that I have added to my backpack since the last video some things that were brought to my attention that I figure I might need um, well, this isn't a new addition, but I forgot to go over it in the last video. Basically, an emergency sunscreen. I know I talked smack on sunscreen last time. I was like, yeah, you don't really need it, but sometimes you do. Sometimes you might get, you know, stuck up on a really windy mountaintop and your hat's blown off. You can't wear your hat for your shade, so you have to wear something like this and you're totally exposed. I'll put something like that on just for some extra protection because there's, there's no shade. Uh, here's the Cold Steel Taiwan Dagger that I found on the Mount Alice hike. Been carrying it ever since. I used to keep it strapped right here, but the chain broke and it fell off. I need to get some kind of new way to strap it on, but it goes right here. Boom. I mean, people are always asking me, like, dude, aren't you afraid you're going to get attacked by an animal? But when I carry this, not really. I'm telling you right now, no animal wants a piece of the Cold Steel Taiwan. Next on the list, this is really handy, and I should have been carrying it the whole time, but it's the Gerber Dime, little multi-tool. But in my opinion, this is the perfect little multi-tool for hiking. Got your little pliers right there. Um, it's also got a little knife. It's got a flathead screwdriver. It's got a little pair of scissors right here, which these have come in very handy before. I was with a friend one time, and her dog got all caught up in this fishing string with like rusty hooks and I was like how did that even happen like the dog is totally wrapped up in it like tight so I busted this out I cut I cut the fishing string I set the dog free it was amazing I was definitely the hero that day I mean, it's basically got the stuff that you would want out on a hike it's small it doesn't weigh much I think it's worth it I'm adding it back into the backpack this is real easy spare shoelace I mean, you never know, you might break a shoelace, might have a belt malfunction, you need to tie your pants together, whatever. Nice little string slash shoelace. Some hand sanitizer. I debate whether I should take this or not because I don't know if it's really worth the weight, but it is nice to have. You get up to the summit, your hands are dirty from climbing up, you might just want to clean them off so you can eat. This is a new addition. This is pretty cool. This is a seat pad. I know, you're probably like, what? You bought a seat pad? I did. I did. It's really nice. I mean, I haven't got to use it yet, but I can already tell I'm going to love it. Because how many times do you get to the summit and then you just want to sit down and relax and there's nowhere comfortable to sit? A bunch of pointed, jagged rocks. So you just bust this little bad boy out, open it up. <sighs> Boom, just like that. You got yourself a little seat pad and it's also cool too because this one you can button it together right there you can make a little pillow out of it as soon as jamie saw my last video he was like dude you don't have a bivy sack and i was like i don't even know what a bivy sack is i had to literally google it i didn't i didn't know i'm from kansas we don't have bivy sacks out there but it's basically like a little insulated sleeping bag thing you can get into crawl into stay warm stay uh out of the wind hopefully it keeps the water off but this is something i hope i never have to use because this is going to be something that i have to use if i like blow my knee out and i need to wait for the helicopter the next day or something like that <laughs> and i need to spend the night i'm going to wrap myself up in this i'm going to bust out my seat pad slash pillow and i'm just going to have to get through the night this is my new toy. This is my short little tripod that also extends out. This thing is so rad and I've already made like modifications to it. Right here there was this little remote control that you could have for like a selfie thing for your phone. I was like I don't need that. I ripped it straight off. I added this little lanyard so in case I'm doing something crazy. Oh whoa! Still got it. And then I also added this little thing right here. 
at the top. That's the quick release. So I can just go straight from like right here and just stick it right on. Boom. All right, and you might have seen this in a few videos, but this goes hand in hand with the water straw. I mean, I've literally been out before with zero water and had to drink out of a little hot puddle about this big, and it never tasted so good, that hot water. I mean, it had like bugs floating around in it. It was nasty. But how the combo works is you go ahead and just fill this up with any kind of water you can find. Doesn't really matter. Get it out of a river, a lake, pond. Doesn't really matter because this thing is awesome. It'll filter it. When you stick the life straw into the bottle, and you can just drink the water straight out. I mean, this is so enjoyable. You can look like Samuel L. Jackson on Pulp Fiction. You know what I'm talking about? The scene right after he eats the big kahuna burger that he stole from Brett. And this doesn't weigh very much either. I mean, that's really light. It's a real, you know, thin metal. And then we got the Boost Oxygen. I know you probably think that this doesn't work. It's for tourists or something, but I actually like it. I think it does actually help. You can feel it into your legs again. Get that oxygen back into your blood, back into your muscles. It's good stuff. Plus, it's also really helpful if you're with somebody that's having a hard time. Tell them to take a few hits of this. And it is good. They'll be good to go. It helps a lot. All right. Let's check out the stuff that I don't carry. It's pretty much my little random box of things that I've collected over the years. Right here, right off the top. This is the suction cup that failed that caused my GoPro to fall off and me to run over it. Sublime wear. I would not recommend getting one of these. And then, not to mention, I tried to contact the company to let them know. They didn't even email me back. And this is just in here, ready to go when I need one. But the, these are some extra camelback bites. Pretty nice. Some extra duct tape rolls. And then, this right here is my old GPS locator. This doesn't do anything to help you navigate whatsoever. This is like a one-time, if you need help, you set this off and you hope people show up to help you. It's the ACR Rescue Link Plus. It's buoyant, waterproof, uh, but the thing is you don't charge this up. This comes with like a one-time battery that's supposed to last for five years, I think. I don't know. I never tested it because every time you test it, you use up part of the battery. So luckily I never had to use it. I don't even know if it works anymore, but I don't carry it. It's pretty heavy, but like I said, I mean, if this is going to save your life, it's totally worth it to have something like this. We've got three of these paracord bracelets. Here are some Camelback cleaning tabs. I haven't used these yet. I'm still just going off 10 years of rinsing it and letting it dry. This is a big signal mirror. That's awesome. You can probably flash people from like 50 miles away with this thing. And like I said on the other video, you look through the little star hole right here and you get that glare. You can see the little spot. That's basically your, your flash. You just aim that spot wherever you want to flash people and they'll see it. You've got this little pair of binoculars. I figure there's no point in carrying these if I'm walking around with a 60x zoom camera. But some little binoculars are nice. When I was in Yellowstone, there was this bear that was really super far away and like you couldn't even see it with your naked eyes. But you got out the binoculars and you could totally see him. I mean, it was better. But yeah, it was awesome. I mean, people were like passing these around to strangers like, oh, check them out. Like, you know, it was really cool. But like I said, you know, they weigh a lot. And in my opinion, I don't need them. The Benz bug net. This is really light, and I can and I consider throwing it in because I have used this before. I used it on the top of Signal Mountain the first time I did it via the Bulwark Ridge. There were so many bugs up there; it was disgusting. But you basically put this over your head, and it's supposed to keep the bugs and the flies off your face. 
It says right here on the side that it's an Invisinet. Like it's supposed to be invisible, but I'm pretty sure you can still see it. On second thought, I might just throw that back in the backpack just because it doesn't weigh anything. Super duper light. Like I said, I have used it before, so let's throw it back in. Then I've got some extra Kleenex towelettes here. These are nice. Carry these around a couple of these in your backpack, you know. There's quite a few in there. Even if you're having like a real bad day, that should still take care of you. We've got a few beef sticks. These are uncured pepperoni turkey sticks. I don't like taking things that are too spicy with me because then I start drinking tons of water. Or if I do have something that's real spicy, I'll definitely save it to the end. That's like the last thing I'll eat. Like if I have some grapes or something, I'll eat the grapes first. Although I have stopped carrying grapes because it's not fun if you smash them. And then I also bought these Honey Stinger Organic Gels the other day from REI. I was trying to get my order up to $50, so I got the free shipping. So I ordered three of these. And these are good. I like these. You know, anything like a shot or a gel, whatever. Anything that gives you some, some energy, some caffeine, that's, that's fine with me. So I'll carry some of these in my backpack. And then I also stocked up on the Ethan's Organic Energies. I got tons of them. I think I bought... 15 boxes. I've got about 180 of the little glass bottles. So I'm good to go. I should have enough to last me the entire summer. And then in this pouch, here's some more little stinger honey energy things. Those are all right. God, those are, those feel hard. I should probably eat those. And I used to carry this with me but I'm going to go ahead and say that weighs probably a pound or so. And like I said, I wasn't really using anything in here. So why carry it? It basically comes down to, is it worth the weight? If it's not worth the weight, if you never use the item, then don't carry it. This is a really nice Phoenix flashlight. Awesome. I really like this flashlight. Got a super good deal on it at Jack's. I mean, they're like trying to give it away or something. But it's just, it weighs too much. I don't need it. If I have the headlamp in my backpack, I don't need a secondary light. Here's just a little container where I had some painkillers, some Pepto-Bismols and stuff like that. But I think I went years and years and didn't ever take them. So I don't have these in my backpack anymore. Here's another backup little sunblock stick and rub that on. Pretty nice. I mean, I'll probably use this at some point when I run out of the other one. I'll probably put this one in my backpack. Here's a knife I got, a Gerber knife. I mean, that's a pretty badass knife right there. It's not that heavy. As you can see, they tried to make it lightweight. However, it's just something that I never used. So it's like, why carry that? I mean, it weighs enough. It's not worth it. This is a really nice compass. I mean, that's that's like a deluxe, super fancy compass. It's just the thing is I really don't know how to use it. And if I ever get into that much trouble where I need this, I'm probably going to die anyway. And last but not least, this real nice, really sharp saw. And I was carrying this around in case I needed to cut down some branches and make myself some some crutches to walk out with. You can cut some, you know, you can cut a branch down with that pretty nicely. It doesn't weigh a lot, but like I said, it's just something that I never used, I, I never want to use, so I quit carrying it. All right, and that's all the gear that I've accumulated over the years. Hope you enjoyed the video, and until the next one, y'all, peace.